This is how you use the F4G in combat. You'll fly out with either F4Es or F16s as a seed package, where the supporting aircraft would rely on the F4G picking up radars and SAMs before the flight got close enough to start engaging enemy air defenses. The F4G could tell the other pilots of targets through data link or pre-briefed code. Going into combat zones, the non-weasel aircraft couldn't detect enemy radar emissions as well or as precisely as the F4Gs, so they became crucial to these risky missions. The F4G was becoming elderly in the 90s, being phased out. The F4 had no aircon on the ground, so you often see them taxiing around with their canopies open. Once in the air, however, the F4 talked to you, and you had to listen. The wind noises would change around the canopy when you were stressing the airframe, and the pilots needed pure skill, as well as airmanship. In order to see down to your size, you would have to roll to lower the wings. The instruments in the cockpit didn't have a brightness setting, so at night they were too bright and had to be taped over.